and we've returned. Let's keep seeing around what people have to say about current situations. Okay. Mong Lane. Oh, we are just eavesdropping on everyone. We don't even talk with anyone. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. So I said, I'm on you that's cheeky. not a faucet. Hey, <laughs> hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, we were uh, just here. Sorry for Walking eavesdropping. By. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. Yeah, <sighs> fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? Ooh. <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Uh, really? You do? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Bro, I don't know. I've been Word here for it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? This was just a little mistake, a you know, little mistake, a single huh? cake. I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. I mean, you could be playing so with bombs for like uh, really my friends with Klee. You sure know how to embellish. No, no, you don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Oh my Arkan, I'd love to know. Oh, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind yeah. him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. You have the very nice meal. tits. Some welfare meals. Right, right! That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes what her eyes. What do you mean yesterday? Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been oh. working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. That's lovely. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. You are correct. Paimon brown nosing her way. Her In true fact, skill. I culinary school. But enough about that. Since you like my cooking, I guess that means we share similar tastes. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Man, you're so interesting. Listen, kids. The power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. You've already met the one person here you should never cross, the Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks. Even better treatment in the infirmary. I know who you mean. It's that jury or character, right? I don't hmm. think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? Was he? There's no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else.
Okay. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lorvine. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? There is a because library that's just how here. Terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. But Remember, that would hit a woman. Also quite the odd if she deserves you know? him. She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it, I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Oh. Wait a second. You don't think. Do you think it could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really. Oh. <laughs> After all, I do remember seeing Lorvine beat Jerry to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. Had a confrontation with a girl named Lorvine who also frequently. Okay. Fascinating information, guys. I gotta go now. Jesus Christ. I haven't had a more useless conversation in a long time. Hey, you over there? Oh, what's up? Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? <sighs> oh boy. You TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? No, anyway, I want to play. Join me for a game? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, all right. No but why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. Agreed. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Sure. Great. This is nice. Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. <laughs> I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. Paimon really has a golden tongue. strange tongue. rumors since you've arrived? Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? Yeah, we met them. Yeah, so you've already met those two. <laughs> They're quite a pair. They always keep an eye out for the latest happenings and gossip about everything. I've never seen anyone with more time on their hands. I heard that they Fair. used to be a chef and a bartender before they were sent down here. You know how bartenders are, always chatting with customers. And chefs love to pass the time just hanging out when they're not cooking. Hmm. hmm. Good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm. Let me think. Sounds like you want- Oh! Did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the fortress of Meripede before? He was? Huh? Wait, are you serious? Risley what? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. To go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. You know what? I agree. Like... Bra bra raced from nothing to the top. A forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm. Not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. Bro, I want to. Let me. Okay, we've talked to Jeff. See you later. Ah, let me play cards. According to 
after the Cardi left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. Can you let me play in the quest with... Uh, uh, fuck, what was my name? <laughs> uh, Jet. In the quest with Jet. The guy from the village asks, like, do you play? You can say yes and have a fucking round. Like, I won't down again. Huh? Ooh. Nice. Whoever thought of these elevators, <sighs> I hate you. I genuinely hate you. Like... Like, I hope something horrible happens to you. But not horrible enough to take your life or cripple you. But horrible <sighs> enough to leave you scarred for the rest of your life. Whoever thought making this elevators this long and not let me have a way to drop in was a good idea go fuck yourself Lenny. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Huh? What are you breaking? That look in your eyes. You found something? Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Oh, brother. <laughs> that's, that's good. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. Uh, the rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all, and Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. He yeah. is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. His escape route is already flooded, so we'll have to test someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put Me. it that way, it's obvious that only Fremine would be up to the task. Bingo! Is he around? No, She's I don't even have him. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. Isn't this a... I'll talk to him about it later. What do you mean he's work? Isn't today the free, free day of the month? No need to thank me. This was always a part of our mission after all. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Has it? Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremine will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremine while we're at it, too. Sure. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Mm. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremine's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Do it's not real. Fremine's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremine prepare for his diving mission. So, 
You are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. Okay. You've mentioned several sketchy-looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier, so it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. But also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. No, when it comes to intelligence gathering, I'd never consider you to be an amateur. Didn't you say it yourself? It's always been your strong suit. I'll Bible believe anything that. as long as it comes from you. So, please prove your prowess to me once again. All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. I will only believe half the things you say. Now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. <sighs> and stay woke. Stay woke. Stay woke. Yeah. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Okay, Paimon. And you will let us know what you found next time. See ya.